Hi, dear brothers and sisters. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I just wanted to make this video. Um, so last night about two o'clock in the morning, I was woken and I could remember bits and pieces. I know as like, you know, when you turn over and you're kind of getting comfortable, I could remember myself saying, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. And I was like, I remember that vaguely, but I could remember that I was saying that. And then all of a sudden, I was awoken. I heard, I, I felt like, like God was talking to me. He's like, well, and I was like, okay. And I woke up and then I heard, uh, I wrote it down. Awake, my children, I am coming. And he, that that's all he said. And I was like, Okay, I have to write this down. I have to. And so I wrote that down. That's what woke me up in the middle of the night at 2 o'clock in the morning. I, After turning over and I was just saying, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming. And then all of a sudden, I, it's like you, I could feel like the tugging. And, and, and then he was like, awake my children, I am coming. And I got this scripture... Also, it was like laid on my heart. Um, it's Matthew 24. It's about a little bit reading, so I'm going to read it. It's 36 through 44. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of no were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. As for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And I knew not until the flood and knew not until the flood came, okay, and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, one shall be taken and the other one left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, watch, therefore, for ye not know what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man, this is the part was like, because it was watch therefore, ye not know the hour the Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch in what watch the thief would come he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up therefore be also ready for such an hour as ye think not the son of man cometh that was the scripture that was given to me with the awake my children i am coming because i feel like he's it's like an urgency of it's not time to sleep. It's not time, it, and I don't mean it as in like sleep. It's basically, you have to be watching always. Keep your, your heart right. Keep your mind on God and not on the things of this world. You're supposed to be in the world and not of it. It's time to be awake. It's, it's, to, it's time to be focused on him. Know that he's coming. Be ready. It's not time to be asleep and, and to, to doubt and to, to think that he's not coming anytime soon. Because he, like the thief, if, if the man knew, if the good man of the house had known in which that thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. It's to watch. We have to be watching. We have to, um, therefore, Watch, therefore, for ye not know the hour the Lord doth come. You have to be watching. It's not time to be like, oh, you know, he's not coming anytime soon. There's so much else to come. You have to be watching. You have to be, because it, it says, my sheep know my voice. Okay? And the other one was another uh, scripture where was, um, let me look at, sorry. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, okay, it's also in Matthew. The master, uh, Matthew twenty four fifty. Uh, the master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him, and at an hour that he is not aware of. So we have to be, the, Jesus is our master. Jesus is our Lord. We have to be looking diligently for his coming. We can't be just so focused on like um, our happiness on this earth. It has nothing to do with us anymore. And don't you think he's trying to get our attention, the world's attention, that it's time to get right with him. It's trying to get back with him. He's taking everything away from people. You understand that? He's taking away the pleasures of this world and secluded us to to not just be like oh this quarantine's like oh no it's to get back into his word to get back right in a relationship with him that's what it is he's taking our focus off of what's going on around us and all the things that we enjoy in this life and say hey come back to your first love and i also had another vision I think it was about two days ago and I was like I was just praying and I was just like if you want to show me something just show me I I want to I want to listen I and all of a sudden it, I know it was a vision and I was taken I was like a hand came and take took me I guess to heaven I guess and Jesus looked at me, and I'm going to be honest with you, this was the sternest look of like some, when somebody's so serious. He goes, Athena, I am coming. Very shortly, he will send me. And he looked over at God, and then I looked over at God, and I could see him so like angry at the world. He was just fed up with what's going on. He was just done, and he was just done. And then Jesus says, you have the fire inside of you. And all of a sudden, this flame started to take over my entire body. And then uh, God looked at me and he pointed at me and he took me and he rose me up and he goes, you are mine. And then he says, do not fear, do not doubt. I am with you. And then all of a sudden fire came out of my mouth and then I was sent back. And I was like, whoa. And those and the things that stood out to me the most was just do not fear. Do not doubt. He is with us. It's time to take this serious, guys. It's not time. It's not a game. This isn't a game. This is people's souls on the line. You know, we have the fire of God inside of us. Excuse me. Inside of us. We have the fire of God that's inside of us. We're supposed to share that fire, just light it up for the world to see who, who we trust, who we belong to, who is our God. Our God is above all this that's going on. We have to show the peace of God, the joy of God, because what are people doing right now? They're freaking out. There's people who are just <clears throat> like going crazy. You know, and and we're supposed to be different. We're not supposed to be going crazy and like, hey, you know, like, yeah, ah, 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 running like chickens with our heads cut off. No, because that's not showing faith. That's not showing trust. That's not showing who our God is. We should not fear. We should not doubt. He didn't give us the spirit of fear. It says the spirit of fear. It's a spirit of the enemy. He didn't give us that spirit, but of power and of love and a sound mind. And we shouldn't be doubting because what his word says is true. His word does not come back void. So Jesus is coming very soon. And it's time to get on the ark. I mean, they made fun of Noah when Noah said, hey, a rain's coming. 
it's coming, a flood's coming, and you need to get on, you need to come, you need to come with me. And everybody thought he was crazy. Everybody looks at me like I'm crazy. Okay, I am a wackadoodle for Jesus. I do not care. I'm crazy about Jesus. I love Jesus. And I don't care who knows it. Noah was looked at crazy. Noah was looked at weird. And they were still doing what they love to do. And you, I'm going to be honest with you. Do you see that now? Do you see how people are acting right now? They're still getting married. They're still partying. They're still drinking. They're still out there doing whatever they want to do. As in the days of Noah, that's what was happening. And it's still happening. Through all of this, they're not getting their hearts right before God. And they're still in their own flesh, in their own ways. We are to deny our flesh and walk in the Spirit. It's not time to be what we want to do in this world. And, and it's not about you. It's about God and telling people to wake up because Jesus is coming and he's the only way to be saved because it is hell without him. My dad has his shirt and says, got Jesus because it's hell without him. It's true. It's true. It's hell without Jesus. And, and we have to be that voice for God. We have to show the light of God, that fire that burns within us. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Have you ever heard that song? I love that song. It's so, it's like, oh, it's a good worship song to just to pray with and just be in the moment with Jesus. We need to let that fire just come out and let his words come out of our mouth, not ours. Trust him today. He's coming. He's coming very, very, very soon. It's to get on the boat, get on the plane, get on whatever you want to pair, whatever, do it as. Get on. The door's closing. He's coming. And he's trying to wake people up. I hope you guys have a great day. Be blessed. I hope this was an encouragement to you guys. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the sky. Our, redemp our redemption draws nigh. Be blessed.